Hello guys, I hope you are good. Uh, this is another video from Teacher Danielson. Okay, this video is about the types of drinks. Okay, drinks which are uh, part of our everyday lives. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, first of all, it's important to establish a classification on the types of drinks. First, we have caffeinated drinks. Then we have sugary drinks, which are known as uh, caloric or calorie drinks. Okay, then we go to non-caloric drinks, diet drinks. Also, we have juices and we have milk as well. Okay, first of all, okay, let's go on caffeinated drinks. Okay, um, as you may have uh, seeing caffeinated comes uh, from or comes after the word caffeine okay and we know that caffeine uh, is present in many of uh, the drinks that we consume okay but in here there are some examples we have coffee of course we have tea we have also uh, cola or coca-cola we have certain flavor sodas such as Dr. Pepper, Sangres, Crush, and so many others. And of also we have um, energy drinks, uh, which are uh, quite, uh, let's say, dangerous for us. Okay, basically we have Red Bull and uh, Monster Energy. Okay, now let's go uh, over certain details uh, about these types of drinks. Okay. Uh, when a person when a person consumes a lot of caffeine, this person uh, tends to suffer from excessive alertness. So it means that this person uh, can be uh, excessively awake. Okay. So for example, let's 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 think about a person who is drinking coffee or Coca Cola because this person uh, does not want to sleep. But if this person drinks uh, more than more than the recommended uh, quantity this person could be excessively alert okay also there are some people who can suffer from anxiety okay after drinking um, caffeine um, of course uh, if we have the case of a person who drinks a lot of caffeine the total sleeping time of, of this person could be affected and of course this person could could sleep uh, less time than the usual okay and of course uh, caffeine or caffeinated drinks are known uh, by uh, their addictive addictive components okay so uh, probably if you if a person drinks a lot of coffee uh, tea or coca-cola or energy drinks most of them tend to suffer from an addiction to uh, those uh, drinks okay uh, also we have fatigue what do i mean by fatigue well fatigue means that for example we have the case of a person okay who consumes uh, a lot of coffee let's say and uh, if this person drinks a lot of coffee after the effects of coffee go away okay eh, what is left on that person is fatigue okay which is eh, an extremely or an extreme tiredness in that person and of course um eh, when a person drinks eh, too much caffeine that caffeine turns out to be into a diuretic substance and diuretic substance substances sorry uh, tend to provoke frequent urination okay so it means that a person who drinks a lot of coffee or or, or other caffeinated drinks they usually go a pee uh, more times okay let's continue and this is an important group which is the sugary drinks and of course we can find in here we can find a lot of them we have uh, sodas or flavored sodas in here we have some common some common examples that you have seen before probably um, of course, we have soft drinks, we have um, sport drinks such as Gatorade or Power, and energy drinks. Okay, any drink that you see here, it's because 
all of them contain high amounts of sugar okay now what are the effects of uh, sugary or caloric drinks first of all um, as the title says uh, these drinks provide a lot of calories a lot a lot of calories but they do not have nutrients at all okay they don't have vitamins they don't have proteins they don't have carbohydrates none of it okay um let's see what's next um well since they have a lot of calories and since they have a lot of sugar uh, people who drink uh, who drink a lot of uh, this type of drinks uh, can suffer from a weight gain so this uh, this person can be overweight of course um also uh, people uh, who drink a lot of uh, a lot of drinks who are high in sugar they can uh, suffer they have a certain probability to suffer from a uh, type 2 diabetes and you, you know that uh, diabetes is a disease uh, which is caused uh, by uh, high amounts of sugar in the blood okay now people who drink uh, who, cons who consume uh, sugary drinks have a 20 percent higher risk of a heart disease okay so they can suffer also from a heart attack given the quantity of sugar that this person has in the blood okay and also this uh, people who consume a lot of sugar drinks can suffer from gout gout is a kind of arthritis okay and gout is a disease that affects the uh, uh, musculatory system and the uh, and also the bones okay and last but not least the bone health can be affected why because sugary drinks contain a lot of phosphates and phosphates are a substance or are uh, they are an element okay that affect the quantity of calcium that we have in our bones okay so you need to think twice before you drink uh, a drink or a substance like this one okay now we go next now we have non-caloric drinks which compared to uh, sugary drinks are less harmful okay but we will see certain details about them uh, first of all, well, we could mention the main example of no, of a non-caloric drink, which is water, and also there are certain uh, diet drinks such as Coca-Cola Zero, which could be considered or which could be taken into this category. Okay, now what are the main characteristics of these um, uh, drinks? Well, of course, water is water is the best non-caloric drink for health. We know that uh, water, if it is consumed in a normal amount, it is not harmful for humans. Okay. Um, also, uh, what now? What happens with non-caloric drinks? Okay. Some people believe that uh, because of it is a non-caloric drink, it is not bad. Okay, because they say, oh no, th this caloric, this non-caloric drink does not have sugar. And it is not bad for us but what happens okay non-caloric drinks non-caloric drinks sorry do not contain sugar but they con they contain artificial sweeteners and it happens to be that these artificial sweeteners are chemicals and of course we know that chemicals are quite harmful to our bodies okay um, of course, uh, these non-caloric drinks have also phosphates, and as I mentioned before, these, phosph uh, these phosphates can affect the bones and the teeth, okay? And uh, you may say, okay, but a non-caloric drink does not contain calories, okay? And we know that calories may trigger, uh, may trigger a person to suffer from a weight gain but no these artificial sweeteners can trigger a person to suffer from a weight gain as well okay so it is important to make this difference because there are some times in which we believe that a non-caloric drink is is not bad for us but well it is okay now let's go over diet drinks which are similar to non-caloric ones 
Okay, and here we have Diet Coke, Sprite Zero, and Diet Pepsi. Okay, probably have drunk this before. Now, what are certain specifications about these drinks? Okay, well, uh, diet uh, drinks they belong to non-caloric drinks because they do not contain calories at all um also these diet drinks uh, have artificial sweeteners which i mentioned uh, before are chemicals okay because well they do not have sugar um these drinks it is important to say that as non-caloric drinks this this type of substances do not contain any kind of nutritional value so they do not provide vitamins proteins and so on they just the, the only important thing about this is that they do not contain calories just that okay and of course uh, given the high amount of sweeteners that these uh, drinks have that's why you have to drink uh, these uh, substances in moderation okay do not believe that because it is a non-caloric drink you can drink as much as you can and no just you just need to be careful about that okay now let's go over juices juices the ones that we like a lot such as high C, dos pinos so many others okay now what about juices let's see let's see okay and as we may know uh, juices come from some fruits and vegetables. We have apple juice, bird juice, banana juice, and even tomato juices. Okay. Um, what happens with juices? Well, juices contain certain vitamins, certain nutrients, which are vital for our bodies. Okay, but what happens? What is the negative part of juices? Well, juices contain a large amount of sugar or artificial sweeteners. So we may we might see that a box of juice can say, okay, this juice does not contain sugar. This juice is zero sugar or sugar sugar zero. Okay, but what happens? What they don't mention is that uh, this sorry that these juices contain artificial sweeteners that remember that they are chemicals. Okay. Now let's go to the last one, which is milk. Milk. Yes, cow milk okay what happens with milk okay well as we know milk provides calcium which is uh, an important animal element for our bones and teeth it also provides vitamin d vitamin b12 and other nutrients okay a uh, meal is quite recommended for growing children in order to have a normal uh, growth of bones um well milk contains fats that's why uh, milk is also considered as cal as a caloric uh, drink okay because uh, what is the main characteristic of a caloric drink okay a caloric drink is when a drink or a substance contains sugar or contains fats okay and okay we know that milk in most of the cases do not uh, uh, does not contain um sugar but it contains fat okay guys uh well guys this was my video about the types of drinks i hope you liked it okay and well guys it is important to be careful about what we drink okay because there are certain people who follow certain diets or certain things but they forget about drinks and drinks are an are an important element for us so guys in, in in order to finish uh, there are drinks who have advantages and disadvantages okay so we need to take those things into account but the main or the most important piece of a guy of advice I can give you is that you have to consume all these drinks in moderation even water so I invite you to be more careful about what you drink okay guys uh, I hope I hope you like it and uh, leave any comment about my video if you want. Take care.